Hi, Jimmy Johnson here in the Patriot League studio. Loyola track and field senior Senna Olsen has already had a record-setting career at Loyola, and she added two with that impressive resume this August. The three-time academic all-league honoree has dual citizenship in the United States and Sweden, and she trained overseas this summer and earned a bronze medal in the 800 meters at the 2020 Swedish National Championships on August 16th. She also has a trio of Patriot League gold medals, and she's back home in Ridley Park, Pennsylvania. Joining us now via Zoom, Senna, thank you for taking the time out, and welcome back. Thank you for having me. Can you share with us your experience, what it was like to be overseas and competing on the national level in Sweden? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I arrived in Sweden at the end of June. And before that, I was here in, the, in America, in Baltimore, um, just working on finishing up my courses and working at a grocery store, actually. And um, I got there in June and was pretty out of shape. I actually had a conversation with my coach when I first got there and he basically said like if you want to race this summer you're gonna have to do some serious work to sort of get that back but um, it came back quickly. Uh, I was training with the team in Gothenburg which is on the west coast of Sweden and we practice pretty much every day. It's a mixed team so there's people that are like borderline professional athletes and then people that are just sort of running for fun that are part of the team. Um, my coach's name is Per Skoog there and we met every day and sort of trained and then towards the end of July I started racing at first just for fun the first race that I did was a 400 it was official timing but it was just me and one of my teammates there and so we sort of had like a time trial race off and I really tried to go into it with like no expectations for the whole summer just kind of enjoying the opportunity to race and trying to like, like view it as just an opportunity and something that was really fun to kind of get to run again and especially in another country and with like new teammates and I mean a new coach, new training, everything. But it ended up sort of meeting those expectations and being a lot more than that. I mean you finished in third in the championship, getting that bronze medal, what, what did it mean for you to get that? Honestly it you know, the Baltimore Sun asked me before the championship race um, if I had any goals. And I sort of said that like a stretch goal was maybe to try to snag a spot on the podium, but I really didn't think that I was capable of even doing that. It was more like, okay, if everything goes wrong for other people and then goes super right for me, then maybe I would have a chance of doing this. And actually getting that bronze just sort of showed me that like, I need to trust myself a little bit more and actually set, ex not expectations, but just just stretch goals and reach goals and know that like I am capable of actually achieving those things because I think going into the race it really was like not an expectation to podium it was just an expectation to hopefully finish the race and then like do my best and you know my best ended up being a spot on that podium and it was just it was a source of pride but not but more just like wow I really am capable of these things and I need to like trust myself more going into the future. You've also snagged that top spot at the Patriot League Championship now three times. You're the first student athlete at your school to win individual gold. You've now got three. For you, what does it mean to have this kind of success at Loyola? Yeah, the, the first time that I got gold indoor my sophomore year in the 800, um, it was the same kind of expectation going into Swedish Nationals, actually. And I even said to Amy that this year racing at Swedish Nationals felt a lot like uh, Patriot League's my freshman year, where I felt like I was really like, no one really going into the race, no expectations on me from other people, but I knew that I was capable of a little bit more still, but I was expected to sort of fall into that fourth place, fifth place spot. And it, a lot of racing, especially my freshman and sophomore year, was all about just like proving myself, sort of proving that I was like capable of not just like winning the Patriot League, like 800 meters, but capable almost of like showing other people that they expected too little and that I expected too little of myself. And so indoors, my sophomore year, I was like toying with the idea of like, maybe I could, again, maybe I could grab that second place medal. Like maybe if everything went right, I could grab a first place medal. And ironically, it's like, I talked to myself that way before racing, but then when the race actually starts, it's just like race, race, do the best that you can, get out there. If there's an opportunity, then pursue that. And I think that I don't, I don't really know why I tend to like think so so little of myself before the race and then actually in the race is when that like confidence comes but um so that was like that was freshman and sophomore year and then after that it was just almost about like it's really hard when you already have a gold medal to feel like you need to hold that like everyone now has switched from having no expectations and like not expecting you to do anything really to expecting you to win or expecting you to just like automatically just like make finals and then like be the best that you could be because you did that before so why can't you do that again and actually i think that 
sometimes holding a title is even harder than getting one in the first place because now you have this internal expectation going into it and that can bring like confidence sure but it's also a little bit of like it's it's difficult to feel like now you have to not prove people wrong but you have to prove people right and I mean both ends of the spectrum are really difficult so while sophomore year it was like all right I want to prove people wrong I want to show that I'm worthy of like something more than this junior year it was a little bit more of like okay people already expect this and now I need to go in and prove them right and I mean both were just like different internal battles and of course like physical battles on the field because we had a uh, different field of players or runners um but i guess like the the biggest source of pride that i find is not in these achievements but it's in being able to like sort of mentally push yourself to new limits and achieve things that you didn't think that you were capable of even if other people do or do not believe this it's not about what they think of you it's about what you believe that you yourself can do and pushing your own limits and I've had the pleasure of being a director and producer for the live Patriot League track and field championships over the last couple of years. And part of the prep includes speaking with each coach. And in speaking with Loyola coach Amy Horse, every call she's spoken so highly of you. For you, what, what has she meant to you and how has she helped you grow at Loyola as a student athlete? I don't think I would have really been able to compete as a collegiate athlete without a coach like Amy. I, I say this a lot to incoming recruits, but when I was looking at schools, uh, of course, the track program and the track coach was one of the, the highest things that I really considered in my school choice. I wanted a strong school academically as well, which is why I ended up at a Patriot League university. But I met Amy and I was kind of like, I think I want to run because I can't picture myself without running, but I'm also not 100% like, yeah, I'm a runner. This is all I want to do for the next four years in college. And I met Amy and I kind of just felt, I felt that balance in who she was as a coach. I felt that she was both someone who wanted to make all of us stronger athletes, but also someone who really focused on who we were as individuals. And I knew that coming into this team at Loyola would really be a good opportunity of growth, not just for me in terms of my running times, but who I was as a person. And that's honestly what I appreciate from Amy as a coach more than anything else, is that she really cares about the whole picture because you can't just be a strong athlete. And if that's really what you want, then sure, you can be a great athlete. But I personally wanted my college experience to bring me both completion as an athlete, but also as a person and be growing both of those things um, at once. Well, congratulations on your bronze medal performance overseas. We're really proud of everything you've done so far here in the Patriot League. And more so, we appreciate you taking the time out here to join us today. Thank you very much, Senna. Thank you, Jimmy.